Right. You may unmute, ma'am. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. All right, so what I'd like you to do um, is, well, you don't want to give your name. So at this point, just go ahead and you can give us a an impact statement. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Michael Nowak. This is the first time I have spoken publicly about what you've done to my daughter and I. I have gracefully remained silent the last two and a half years. Two and a half years of pain, shock, disbelief, PTSD, constant nightmares, and daily triggers. Trying to help my daughter heal when I'm not even healed myself. What you have done to my daughter, myself, and my entire family is inexcusable. You hurt us all. You made me believe that you were such a great man and you could do no wrong. You made me fully trust you, and for that, my daughter trusted you too. But the truth is, you're a monster, a demon. The very first time that I allowed you to be alone with my daughter, the very first time you couldn't even help yourself, you told me you was going to be right back. We are going downstairs. We are going to grab food and take vacation pictures. You told me that you wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with her about loving and respecting me as a great mother that I was and am. I actually believed you. I believed that you were going to bring her right back. I thought you were going to have this trusting conversation with her that you promised me. Her and I both trusted you. For a grown man to violate a child who trusted him, you should be ashamed of yourself. You plotted on me and my little girl. The entire time you knew what you planned to do. Isolate, intoxicate, then violate my baby. Shame on you. I trusted you to bring her right back. You were supposed to bring her back the same way that you took her. Instead, you drugged her and took advantage of her. You sexually abused her. You forced alcohol down her throat. You then forced her to see things that no child should ever have to see. You forced her to feel things that no child should have to feel. You forced her to accept violence that no child should ever have to endure. You forced drugs in her that no human should ever even ingest. She's my child. My baby. How could you? How could you? You could have killed her with all the drugs that were found in her system. Damn. And you thought your master plan was mapped out perfectly, huh? You thought I'd be dumb enough to believe you over my child. And you thought that money would blind me. You thought I was going to be so blinded that I wouldn't notice when you returned her with bruises all over her body and her mouth busted, uncontrollably shaking. Absolutely not. And although you executed your plan and you got what you wanted those couple of hours, you actually failed. Because look where you're at right now. You have created a lifetime of trauma for my daughter and I. Before you, we never knew evil existed. You brought so much evil into our lives that early morning. And I'll never forget. I called you like 50 times and you wouldn't answer me. And I called her too when you took her phone. You drugged my baby and you gave her no way to seek help. You left me no way to contact her or even know where she was. I get physically sick now whenever I'm away from my daughter because of you. Something as simple as her going to school, I'm in panic mode. Because I'm scared when she comes back, she's going to be hurt all over again. I constantly have flashbacks of that night. And what she lives with is this. It's not okay. She feels uncomfortable around people and will live with this forever. And this is not fair to her. She never deserved this. Shame on you for forcing evil on our youth. 
And you know, for a year, I questioned, how could you even do this to us? Her and I did nothing wrong to you. We trusted you. I've moved across the country because I believed everything that you told me. But it was pure manipulation I see now. All you do is specialize in selling false dreams. How can you do this to an innocent child and mother who simply trusted you? We did nothing wrong. But you know what? I'm done breaking my head trying to question or figure out how you could do such a thing. It's so simple to me now. You're just a sick man. A man who have, you can have a plethora of women, but you secretly prefer to have a child. And it's so clear now. I will never be able to fully trust another person doing the betrayal that you've shown me. And for that, I was not willing to trust six strangers and go to trial. Nor was I going to put my daughter through an additional trauma. This plea was in our best interest. You and I both know the evidence is extremely substantial. But even with that, I refuse to have my child be tormented when she's done nothing wrong. All she holds is the truth. And I will say this. Although you were so worried about being labeled a sex offender, you did us a huge favor by admitting to guilt, period. So for that, I thank you. I truly thank you. Yes, mitigation took place and I allowed it as long as it meant you going to prison and you getting true help. Because true help means no more victims. The fact that your only non-negotiable was to accept the sex crime shows exactly the type of man that you are. You know what you did in that hotel room. I know what you did. And my daughter knows what you did. DNA doesn't lie. There's no reason why your DNA should have been found on my baby. And yes, I satisfied your bogus request to not be labeled a sex offender, but it doesn't take away from who you truly are. I wasn't going to waste any time going back and forth with you over a label. God will judge you for exactly the person he knows you to be. A sexual predator. So rest assured, jail time equals jail time. And I pray that during your 10 years of sex offender probation, you actually receive the treatment that you need. And it helps heal your sick mind and get the thoughts of being with children out of it. All you care about is your pretend image. But I know exactly who you are now. You want to be this public figure, but you want to do all your evil acts in secret. You're so self-centered. That's why the last time I saw you on February 27, 2021, you fought me. You tried to hold me hostage from taking my daughter to the hospital. I'll never forget that cowardly look in your eyes. I'll never forget it. You were so scared. You were so scared because you realized you messed with the wrong one. Your last words to me, you held me and said, please don't go. You're going to ruin my career. Well, today, September 6, 2023, my last words to you are, I hope the next 17 years of your life, you're reminded of the disgusting, terrifying, unforgettable act that you've done to my innocent daughter. Shame on you. The state has now filed an amended information today, charging you with the following. Aggravated child abuse, great bodily harm, a first-degree felony punishable by up to 30 years state prison. Count two is aggravated child abuse, great bodily harm, a first-degree felony punishable by up to 30 years state prison. And contributing to the delinquency, uh, dependency of a child, a first-degree misdemeanor punishable by up to one year in jail. It is my understanding that you wish to plead guilty to this new information. You would be adjudicated guilty, and your sentence has been um, memorialized in a four-page plea agreement by up to five years state prison. The state has now filed an amended information today charging you with the following. Aggravated child abuse, great bodily harm, a first-degree felony punishable by up to 30 years state prison. Count two is aggravated child abuse, great bodily harm, a first-degree felony punishable by up to 30 years state prison, and contributing to the delinquency, uh, dependency of a child, a first-degree misdemeanor punishable by up to one year in jail. 
It is my understanding that you wish to plead guilty to this new information. You would be adjudicated guilty and your sentence has been um, memorialized in a four page plea agreement. Did you have the opportunity to go over this plea agreement with your lawyer? Yes. Okay. I do need uh, the defendant to initial each page because there are not initials on these pages.